Hello everyone, how's it going? Dylan here, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are doing a stimulus update video on the new stimulus, second stimulus bill, update stimulus check plan. That's what we're talking about today. We have multiple updates from Donald Trump himself, and that's what we're gonna be looking at as well as from the Senate. And we're also going to be just taking a look at news in general for today around the second stimulus bill. I'm filming in my car studio because I'm currently traveling and this is the only form of uh, filming that I can do at the moment. So if you do like these stimulus update videos, please leave the video a big thumbs up and I would personally appreciate that. I myself did graduate from UC Berkeley where I did study finance and business. So that's my main background and I'm also an entrepreneur, run my own LLC, YouTuber, social media uh, entrepreneur as well. So there's really a lot going on in the news today, which that's what I'm gonna be talking about, the multiple updates in today's video, but just a little recap for anybody who's not caught up to speed. Essentially what has been going on is that President Donald Trump did uh, halt negotiations for the second stimulus bill until after the election. However, there has been other negotiations on what to do with the $180 billion from the PPP funds that have never been used and where to reallocate those funds. Before the election, hopefully those funds will be dispersed out to the general public for use, as well as what are we actually gonna be looking like, looking at for the second stimulus bill plan. We did see that President Donald Trump did want to issue out $1,200 stimulus checks as well as $1,000 additional uh, checks per child for parents as well as the $400 weekly unemployment which would uh, be very fantastic. But there also is some opposition to that. As you guys might know, the Republicans and Democrats are um, you know, not easy to agree on those exact details, but what are we realistically gonna be looking at for stimulus checks into your bank account? How are you gonna be able to receive that money and when will that become available? I myself did qualify for the PPP funds last quarter when that was released and I did get that PPP funds for my company but again there could also be an additional ppp funds amount so if you're an independent contractor you know uber driver lyft driver or if you are a freelancer you know work self-employed you could also be benefiting not only from the unemployment standpoint but you could um, otherwise instead receive ppp funds which actually could be a lot more money and actually could be a lump sum at the very beginning rather than just waiting out the weekly amount another question is will it be retroactive so is it gonna backdate from all the weeks that you will not be have been receiving unemployment or PPP funds? That's what we're gonna be looking at right now. Before we get into all those questions and all the multiple updates, please check the description, links in the description down below. If you do wanna sign up for Yada Savings, it's an online savings account where you can enter to win up to $10 million every single week. I personally use it. If you use my link and code down below, you will get 100 bonus tickets when you deposit money. When you deposit $25, you will get one ticket. However, when you use my link, you will get 100 bonus tickets, which is equivalent to $2,500 worth of tickets. And you can withdraw your own money plus your earnings at any time with absolutely no fees. It's personally awesome. And also sign up for Webull if you do want to get your two free stocks up to $1,600 when you use my link and deposit $100. So this is what we're looking at today actually on Newsweek. Trump urges Senate to expedite Amy Coney Barrett confirmation shift to stimulus. So this this is an absolutely huge update. President Donald Trump is urging the U.S. Senate to expedite the confirmation of Supreme Court nominee Amy Coney Barrett, which we have seen, and shift its focus to another illness relief package. Sorry, I can't say that word because of YouTube demonetization rules. On Monday, as the Senate Judiciary Committee began opening statements on the first day of reviewing Barrett's nomination, Trump tweeted that that Republicans were giving Democrats too much time to speak. So he wants to speed things up. Personally, I would pull back, approve, and go for stimulus for the people, Trump wrote about an hour into the hearing. So obviously Trump really wants something to pass quickly. Stimulus negotiations have stretched for several months with the White House, Senate, Republicans, and Democratic leaders largely arguing over the size of the next illness relief package. Honestly, at this point, it's getting so much time and time and time. I think it should just be passed now. Just settle on a number and get the money out. Maybe do more negotiations later. Why not just, instead of arguing between 1.5 trillion to 3 trillion, why not do a 1 trillion one? Everybody agrees that it should at least be that amount and then argue for the next amount later. That's what I think. But hey, 
Time is money, in my opinion. Less than a week ago, Trump tweeted that he was halting stimulus negotiations until after the November 3rd election so that the Senate could focus full-time on confirming Barrett to the high court. Two days later, Trump appeared to resume talks when he indicated on Twitter that negotiations were moving along and urged lawmakers to go big. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell on Friday told a campaign crowd at an event in, tech in Kentucky that prospects on another stimulus appeared unlikely in the next three weeks. So at one hand, you have President Donald Trump urging the Senate to move things along, move quickly, and on the other hand, it could say that it could take up to three weeks. Um, we do need another rescue package, he said, but the proximity on the election and the differences of opinion about what is needed at this particular juncture are very vast. That's the thing, guys. So when you take a look at all the people who need money right now, people who are living paycheck to paycheck, people who have lost their jobs, been unemployed, who need that money in their account, those people are left in the dust because the, the real money is in small business funding and also bailing out large companies. So with the election going on, it's just shifting focus and those people who really do need the money are unfortunately still struggling without any money at all. If you're one of those people and you do and you are struggling for money, I'm gonna leave links down below. There are a plethora of different ways to make money, again, with Yada Savings or with Webull, or again, with uh, some of these other gig apps like Uber driving, Lyft driving, you know, if you need to make some money just for the next upcoming weeks, check out the links down below. The judiciary, so Barrett 48 is currently a judge on the U.S. Court of Appeals Seventh Circuit. The Senate confirmed her for that position in 2017 on a 50-50-43 vote with three Democrats joining the Republican majority in support. If you do go on the news right now and type in stimulus on Google or Bing, there's just a lot of different articles going over everything that is occurring. There are just multiple updates coming over every single hour. And this is investors are warning to a blue wave that could keep driving a stimulus hungry market higher. So actually the world stock zooms as the world stock zoom to five week five week highs on economic stimulus hopes. So this is absolutely insane. This is the reason why you need to be stepping, stepping on those stock uh, investing. If you haven't yet considered stock investing, now is the best time ever to do it. And again, you'll get two free stocks if you use my link down below to sign up for Webull and deposit $100. I highly recommend it. If you don't wanna do stocks, that's okay. You know, sign up for Yada Savings <laughs> um, and keep your money more safe. So there's just a lot going on. Investor optimism that Washington will work through talks have but repeatedly stalled to deliver another round of fiscal stimulus drove major US stock indi indices to highs last seen in early September. So there's because of the stock, the stimulus hopes, now the stock prices are going up, which is good news for everybody. So anyways, that's it for the update in today's video. If you do like these videos, give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more stimulus update videos and more financial news videos. I'll talk to you guys all soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye.